Hello friends, in today's video, I will be talking about a very interesting topic, which is integration of artificial intelligence in digital pathology. So let's find out about it. In clinical practice, digital pathology plays a crucial role and has an important role nowadays. The advent of whole slide imaging, the availability of faster networks and cheaper storage solutions makes it easier for a pathologist to manage digital slide images and share them for clinical use. With integration of digital pathology and artificial intelligence in form of advanced algorithms and computer-aided diagnostic techniques into the pathology workflow, artificial intelligence has become a very important inclusion in pathology labs. Artificial intelligence or AI has enabled pathologists to identify unique imaging markers associated with disease processes with the goal of improving early detection, determining prognosis and selecting treatments. This allows pathologists to serve more patients while maintaining diagnostic and prognostic accuracy. The applications of digital pathology integration with AI are in the field of education where digital slide teaching sets or virtual workshops are done nowadays. In the field of quality assurance where second opinions, proficiency testing and archiving of the digital slides can be done. Clinical diagnosis by generation of reference image, superimposition of images, integration of clinical data and clenching a diagnosis. These are the main applications of digital pathology integration with AI. An essential requirement for the integration of digital pathology into laboratory informatic system or less include accurate digital reproduction of the scanned glass slide, running the slide scanner continually, limited use of lab personnel and saving archiving and later retrieval of the image without degradation. It helps in whole slide imaging through detection of out of focus areas and color standardization and aids in the image analysis. Most modern whole slide imaging scanners allow entire slides to be imaged and permanently stored at a very high resolution. They are equipped with autofocus optic system to select focal planes to accurately capture the 3D tissue morphology as a 2D digital image. To account for varying thickness of tissue sections, autofocus optic system determine a set of focus points at different focal planes. From these focal planes, scanners capture images to produce sharp tissue representation. Whole slide imaging scanners may still produce digital images with out of focus or blurry areas if their autofocus optic system erroneously selects focus points that lie in a different plane. AI provides a better alternative by automatically identifying out of focus regions and allows the whole slide imaging scanners to add a few extra focal points in those regions. AI achieves this by feature engineering or representation learning approach. Histopathological image analysis is not only limited to visual analysis, several other sources of data need to be included coming from clinical records, patient demographic information. So AI or artificial intelligence can be used to integrate clinical data with image analysis and this will assist the pathologist to clench the diagnosis. AI can also aid in tumor microenvironment study and immunohistochemistry study. Coming to the limitations of AI. Well, many of the AI approaches, particularly deep learning based systems, are criticized for not being able to explain how they arrived at their decisions. While AI do offer many benefits, clinical, legal and regulatory issues need to be sorted out. An expert and AI combination will yield results that are more accurate, consistent and useful. Thus, 
AI is not a replacement of pathologists, but an aid to them as humans can take several factors into account and are better in correlating information to arrive at decisions. Well, I hope this video must have triggered your neurons and given you good insights about integration of artificial intelligence and digital pathology, which is a futuristic approach. Do comment in the comment section and do let me know if you want me to make videos on topics of your choice. Also do subscribe to the channel if you are liking these videos. Thank you and bye for now.